Hello there, my name is Chris from Blast Process and this is the Star Citizen Hangar Module. This is a kind of a very early release version of the full game Star Citizen. This is for the people who have already pledged money to the game. It's the just the hangar of the game. that You have your ships in there, you can get in the ships and walk around them, but you can't actually fly out those big doors are locked, they cannot be opened. Uh, so the full game this this will be in the full game, but obviously in the full game you'll be able to get in and fly out. Uh, I'm just going to have a quick look around the hangar before I go to the ship. So I am... Um, I pledged at not the lowest level, but one of the lower levels, which means I have what is known as the basic hangar. It is a room with lights. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe if I pledged at a lower level I wouldn't even get the lights. Oh, oh, there's me <laughs> with my little red suit and my bald head. I uh, didn't that design him, that was a kind of a standard skin. What have we got up here? Have we got anything? Nope, got a better view of the ship though. So anyway, yep, yeah, this looks like that's the uh, the whole hangar. I don't think there's anything over this side. There's that little blue table down there, I'll go see what's on that. So there's a door there, now that door is kind of, if you've ever played EVE Online, there's a door in the space station, a well-known door, it doesn't do anything, a door to nowhere. I don't know whether this will do anything in the game, maybe it'll take you into kind of the public area, because this is an MMO, I should point out this game, maybe there'll be kind of a public space station area, or uh, maybe this is inside a bigger ship actually, they've never really explained it. Um, let's have a look, ooh, ooh that's nice. Oh, the hangers. Oh, they turn all the lights off. Let's have a look. So there's my my ship. There it is. The RS. Hang on. Lost it. Ooh, how did I just do that then? I don't know how. I, okay, I don't know how any of this is working. Anyway, yeah, the, it's called the RSI Aurora, the Robert Space Industries Aurora. Oh, there you go. You got different weapons. Pack, right, okay. So I'll look around the ship. Let me turn the lights back on. Lovely. So this is the ship. This is the basic ship. It's a uh, a kind of a a one man craft. It's a light transport. Um, other than that, there's not really much to say about it. It's got two weapons mounted on the front. I'm guessing these wings things fold out once it's in flight. And uh, it does have a, a class 3 weapon hard point, which is where you fit missiles. I'm not sure where that is, though. Probably underneath, or I don't know, maybe that's it on the front. Um, it's got a small cargo bay. And, well, there's not much to say. So let's have a quick look inside. Nice door animation. Space ladders. So this is the ship. That's my... Uh, Living bay back there. I'll get in. How do I get in? There we go. Ooh. Here we go. Ooh, clipping problems. There's my little window when I'm asleep. Another window looking up. Nice. And um, oh, and there's my legs and my hands and the inside of my body. Uh, I should point out the game is you know, very, very early pre-alpha, so it's not surprising that there's problems. There's not even any music. I mean, there's a few sound effects, and they're not synced very well, but they're there. I think I think the game's over a year away from release, so, you know, you, you got to give them a bit of slack. So I'll have a quick look in the uh, pilot seat now. Maybe not. Okay. Um, hmm. How do I get into the pilot seat? Here we go. Now the videos, if anyone's seen them, of the game actually running, you'll know that when you climb in your ship like this, you where uh, you do all this little fiddly stuff, you bring all the console down in front of you. And um that's actually it now. I'm flying the ship. It's just that those hangers won't open. But in the actual game, those hangers will open and I will actually effectively be able to just fly straight out. No loading screen, no nothing. It's an MMO, there'll be hundreds or thousands of other people out there. In fact, the, one of the videos actually shows them inside a larger carrier, 
one person is flying the carrier and another player is inside his ship and he can walk around the other player's ship look out the windows and he can see what the other player can see but from different views and then he actually went into the hangar got in his little fighter and flew out I mean it's just amazing like what you can think of what games have become like now oh I can move my controls nice there's my pedals going how do I move there we go I don't know how to mustn't have an accelerator or a throttle um, I'm not sure what any of the dials mean none of them are moving Let's see if we can get back out. Anyway, unfortunately, I only have this one ship. Uh, I think there were seven ships in total you could have got. And I think the biggest of them was a very limited edition one. I know it did cost about $500 to get it, and that was the carrier. Uh, this is, as I said, the basic one. Then there was uh, there was a couple of small fighters. There was a, a bigger sort of a three-man version of this, like a medium transport as opposed to a light transport. Um, there was nothing in massively special. All the ships you could get through Kickstarter are available to buy in the game. The only difference is you get, I believe, um, unique skins for them. And uh, they also come with uh, lifetime insurance and hangar fees paid. So um, you basically always have this ship. Um, there's not what else to say. I mean, hopefully they'll add little bits to this uh, over the coming year as things get released. I uh, will have beta access, but I don't know what kind of uh, non-disclosure agreement is in on that. So hopefully I'll uh, be able to post some more videos of the actual game once it comes out. Uh, so anyway, uh, likes and subscribes would be appreciated. And until then, thank you for watching.